yeah, um, Hengis and Bartaby, you've got these two small pewter shot glasses <laughs> in front of you with a very dark liquid in. And the the guy, the barkeeper has whacked his um, meat cleaver into the um, into the um, bar and he sort of like jams the, the cork um, back on and looks at you both. So Hengis will say, my thanks. And then he's going to pick up the... Um... <laughs> my thanks, good star. Let <laughs> 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 And then he picks I do up feel the be a, a, a jar. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up the, pewter, the tiny little pewter thing and he's going to turn to Bartleby. I go, to your good house. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss me, Hardy. <laughs> Captain's going to have our head if, if he finds out we're drinking on the job. Too late. And then Hengus knocks it back in one. Okay, and one what, the table, what, the is, um, what is um, Bartleby going to do with his drink? Um, he, he's not going to... He's going to give a stern look at Hengus, like... <laughs> And then uh, he's going to slowly turn around to to do a casual gaze across the room uh, with his goal of trying to identify anybody that matches a description similar to what... Are you said. taking the pewter cup uh, with you or are you leaving it on the... I don't know whether or not you're picking it up and then looking around or... I'm going to leave it. Definitely leaving it. Okay, then. Um, Hengis, could you just roll for me an endurance roll? Yes. This is not to see whether or not you're drunk. Um, no, yeah, so you, you knock it back and, you know, you you remember all your training and even though it almost like burns your throat out, it's almost like the worst wine. You Well, it's more like vinegar. Well, actually, you've tasted better vinegar than this. and But you manage to keep in character um, surviving your endurance world and you don't cough or shudder or or anything and you put the little um cup um back on the bar um yeah um Bartby, um roll a perception check for me please thank you will do pa -pa. oh, oh yeah. yes <laughs> and straight away um you notice that the the table up to the northeast there with the two um people sat at it and one stool um are the two people that um gulliver saw beforehand in the captain's mind they look a, maybe a little dirtier maybe a little bit older you're not too sure but you definitely um see um them and you can see that they they seem to have nothing on the table um, apart from these two um, little pewter um, shot glasses and their own bottle that is corked. And they just seem to be um, sat there um, looking at you. And just just then you hear um, uh, another another sort of like that. And you sort of like look around and... Um, Hengish, the the bar may, the bar man, is just filling up your um, shot glass um, again um, with um, some of this liquid. I, th I think is, uh, and he turns around to you, Bartleby, and he says, "Our drink not good enough for you in here, then." I'm sure it's as good as any swill I'd get on a uh, moving ship, but. We're here on business, and uh, I look at Hengus. Jacob here shouldn't be drinking. And the the tavern guy um, sort of like reaches out and puts the um, his hand uh, on the um, on the hilt of the cleaver, and he says, he says, I don't like people who disrespect me and my furniture and my drink. Uh, he says, the last person, you might have seen him. I whacked him one, luckily using the blunt end of this implement before kicking him out. Hengist will um, reach over and pick up Bartleby's. So he's got his and Bartleby's. He's got one in each hand and he'll say to the barkeep, 
still may have been a bit. Of a... <laughs> this lady, I'm like, oh, jolly good show. <laughs> still may have, may have been a bit rickety, but this stuff ain't half bad. And then that's it. Are you downing it? No, no, no. He, he does he, hold it. He's holding it, so he's got both. So he's holding, so he's got his hand around one on his, and he's picking up Bartleby's and he's putting it next to him. And he's on top and then he's going to say, and then he's going to pause for a bit and then say, it was a long trip on the singing siren. I think I need this more than you to Bartleby. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But he's saying Fine, it in a loud enough voice so that everyone in the bar can hear. Yeah, and they, I won't tell Captain nothing. The the tavern owner is sort of like uh, sort of like meets your gaze, Hengus, and then he looks down at the drinks, and then he looks down at your back at your eyes, and then down at the drink, and Balterby, you you see, um, his hand beforehand was just resting on on the hilt of the meat cleaver, but now you can see his his hand is slowly grabbing round it as he just looks eyes drink eyes drink so hengus is staring him straight back and then he's just going to go and take a sip out of, the net, uh, out of his one and put it down you're just taking a little sip out of it. well you would drink about half of it this time okay then not knocking the whole thing back yeah make make your endurance fun Yeah, you sort of like um, knock a, a bit back, and you the 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 tavern guy sort of like looks at you and looks at the half um, um, empty or half full um, shot glass, and says, "I think there's something wrong with my drink." Not at all. I was just merely savouring this one. Well, he says, you have another one lined up because your friend here can't take his drink. Uh, okay, you know what? Fine. I'm, if you're breaking captain's orders, Jacob, then I'm breaking captain's orders. I was going to wait until after, but fine. Uh, Barley will aggressively <laughs> grab the drink, hoping to slop a little bit out and then down it back. Okay, then. Um, so make your endurance well. Embryo power! Yeah, and you sort of like, this is probably the worst communion wine you've ever drank in, in your life. And you actually do feel that it's probably burning through your throat and out into the open air. And it sort of like hits your, uh, hit the inside of your stomach like a, sort of like a, you know, sounding is this sort of like a, like that. And he, and you sort of like, uh, where do you put the cup? Um, I slam it back down on the counter. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna slam it back down on the counter. Yeah, and the 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 tavern guy sort of like all of a sudden you you notice that his facial um, features sort of like um, goes from being really uh, um, cross and he sort of like relax a bit, and then all of a sudden he just sort of like bursts out laughing. And, ah, ha, 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 good man, he says and pops a cork and fills yours up and fills yours up uh, as well as Hengis and says, those are on the house, straight from the saggy mermaid's breast that stuff is. No charge for these, those two. You obviously men of who know what to do with a saggy mermaid. And at that point, um, you suddenly um, notice out in the corner, um, the as you sort of like look round Bartleby from your perusing, um, some some of the one of the guys sort of like goes and and gets your uh, attention, and with that we will nip back across town to the wandering <laughs> minstrels <laughs> as um, Gulliver and Hazra continue to explore the um, the streets of the slums.
Gulliver, have you ever thought of making one of those drawings of an area and, and maybe you could do tours with people and take them around to show them the way? Um, I, d I don't know how to put this to you. Um, that's a, uh, I'm just I'm just making sure that we're not being followed. That's why I keep doubling back on myself and trying to ah, yes. blind, blind alleys, hoping that if we are being followed, then, then you'll be able to... to to all of a sudden leap into action and and and, and dispatch the, the 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 followers. So although right. it seems like I'm I'm um, I'm lost, I'm not actually. I'm I'm just I'm just making sure that that we're, we're not not being followed by that by anybody. The, the, the area that we live in isn't very nice. It, it's the slums. Pe people are out to, to to get you out for your for your purse. E even your even your spear there they will be after or or those. Those fine silks that you wear. Well, it is not fine silks, but yes, my spear is worth of quite a bit of, to me anyway. But yes, that, fine. You you lead on, Gulliver. I will be as quiet as a mouse while you concentrate on the direction. And after a few wrong turns, blind alleys, or some, and different sort of like double backing to check you're not being followed, um, you eventually notice that on either side of you the the slums are slowly um, reducing in height they have less stories to them and then it becomes almost like a shanty town with makeshift um, buildings that are not actually well structured at all but seem to be bits of sailcloth um, draped over um, sort of like wooden structures and as you walk through this, you come to that slight inlet and you can see um, off in the distance of the um, inlet. So I'll just pop you on the, the map so you can um, see. So um, this up here, right down at the end of that, um, there, there appears to be. So you are sort of like coming um, up here. Does that make sense? So you're, you're up higher up um you've just sort of like come out of that street there and you sort of like come to the end of the cliff and you you suddenly think oh you know hazardous sort of like thinking gulliver's gone wrong again even gulliver's thinking oh drat this isn't right but you suddenly something catches your eye and there's a, a flicker of light and as you sort of like probably crawl to the end of the cliffs and sort of like look down you can see that there there is an inlet um down there and just to let you know that there, there seems to be a uh a flow of of water that is sort of like going like that um it's not it's it's almost like it looks like there was once a channel there but it's overflowed and and the, the smell that comes up to meet you um, obviously inf tells you that it's some kind of sewer entrance. But the interesting thing that you saw was that as you sort of like crawl to the edge and look over, there seems to be um, a person um, that seems to be holding a stick with a lantern on the end of it. And he, you can see the light is lighting him up. And he looks very similar to the um, the sailors, um, and they, he seems to be just stood there, and with the um, lantern on a stick. And what you do notice is that you there's a, a wagon, and I think Hazra, you saw it being loaded in. I think, and mm. it's the same wagon that was on uh, the ship um but it's empty now and it's right. it looks like it's just being uh, dragged up um you also do notice it notice something it's actually round the other way so the actual bits that you would pick up to walk away with are actually towards the sea if that makes sense yes yeah, so it's been backed in almost yeah and yeah. and maybe offloaded um, yeah, so you two are up on the cliff. What would you like to do? Um, um, there's a good motion to Hazard to, to, to move backwards. And and then he's going to start moving moving back to may, maybe the, um, the 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 shadows of a of, of a of a nearby building. 
Mm. So, yeah, so you, you creep both you creep back to um, a nearby building. If Hazel comes back as well, and Gulliver will say, have, have, have you nuts? That, 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 that seems to be the place. Hazel. It does look very yeah. familiar to you, Gulliver. From it, uh, it matches what I saw in the... Well, I won't tell you what it matches. Do, do, do you want to... Do, do you want to keep an, an eye on it, and I'll, 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 I'll head back and, and 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 tell, and meet meet up with. with Bobby. Yes, but I was going to say let's let's pull back and be quiet about this, but but you you said anyway. Um, but what I was going to say, Gulliver, is if you are going back, you need to check on those two people to make sure they are still there. I can quite happily keep an eye on it, but but why would we need to if we know the, the stuff is already here? Where's it going to go? You know, there, there's no need to keep an eye on this place because this is where they brought the goods to be transferred to the new place, isn't it? I, I just thought it would... I mean, uh, I, I, do you think they're going to wait with them? I just thought maybe, maybe we should... We would be able to see how many how many people there were, whether or not there was one or, or two or three or... or well, four. I wouldn't have thought that... More, more came or, or, or not... The series had escaped and, and, and came. That's to... fine, Gulliver. Gulliver, fine. I will stay, okay? That's fine. Okay, so let's whiz back to the saggy uh, mermaid. <clears throat> and we left it. Um, the tavern owner sort of like had a good laugh and almost like treats you as um one of one of the um people and sort of like is now um busy tidying things up and one of the guys has signaled for you to go over to them i'll signal to hangus if he doesn't see um then grab my pewter uh, container and not drink from it just holding it um begin to go over presuming that Hengist is doing the same Hengist is, is is mirroring yeah so he's he's picked up his his pewter cup and is making his way over to the table that Boswick has indicated yeah and the first thing that you notice quite clearly is that there's only one stool there and it looks like it's carefully positioned it's exactly where it is on the map um it, there's definitely not two there. Um, there's definitely only one. Um, yeah, so what would you like to do when you get there? Well, I guess we'll, we'll sit down. I'll, I'll stand um, behind him and to the right, kind of like uh, this. Hmm. And as uh, sure as you um, do that, the, the, the person um, in front of um, you... Um, Bartaby, so to the right of you, um, Hengis, sort of like, you sort of like sit down and he sort of like looks around. He leans forward, he says, and what time do you call this? The right time? The right time. You're late. Significantly. Did you run into some issues? No, no, sir. Uh, Captain had a bit of a sick, you know, couldn't come, so they decided to send us. Right. I, I'm. I don't know the captain. He says, oh. but you are late. On behalf of our crew and captain, I'm sorry. We. Are the goods safe? Yes. That's where they should be. Right. And what about... And he looks around. What about the other thing? Well, that's... That's, that's all been taken care of. Already? Yes, but... We are talking about the same other thing. Well, I hope we are. But I didn't know you were going to deal with her so promptly. Well, it's all part of the service. Did she? You know what they, you know what they say. 
singing siren smena are the best did she put up much of a fight well she's a woman well and he looks he looks <laughs> somewhat um puzzled um, <laughs> Yeah, make make a deceit roll at this point. <laughs> Are you rolling again, or so, Bartleby? You no. can Bartleby, you you oh. can make one as well. <laughs> Angus is not. Angus, Angus is just straight face. Can I use a point of luck? <laughs> yeah. <a> reverse. <laughs> and and as the guy um, says the next thing you suddenly make uh, the connection and he says well i know some ships have names but we would never call that it actually a woman but it's dealt with and Bartleby, you need to interject now to to save the day with some patter <laughs> oh. <We're fucked. laughs> Dig Hengist out of that hole. Uh, Barnaby all of a sudden looks like he's had a, a realization and, and hits Hengist on the shoulder um, and says, Ah, oh, I Jacob's got his head all mixed up here. Uh, see, Captain had told us about something with the shipment and that's what he thought you were talking about we haven't handled her yet i don't does sniffer know about this i'm not sure we should be dealing in live trade that's not a good idea and the the guy to the um to the opposite side of the table sort of like puts his hand out um to to shake towards you, Hengis, and says, "My name's Bill. Jacob, is it?" That's right. And he puts he his says, shaking his hand. Yeah, and he's sort of like vigorously. Yeah, and you you notice that he's um, squeezing it somewhat, and then he sort of like says, "Mighty soft hands." For sailor, I'm the first mate. I don't. I just stand and give the captain's orders to the crew. I don't actually do any of the heavy lifting. That's what he's for. Yeah, he's, he's like make a gesture. Make <laughs> the guy <laughs> with his head. <laughs> make make a make a deception, a deceit roll. And he sort of like releases your hand and says, yeah, Bruce here does things like that. Mamby Pamby hands, he's got as well. He says, and the other guy says, all right then. So he says, the goods are to be delivered to a certain merchant. You've dealt with this be him before, you know, fat guy, armpit smells. Remember? Looking at Hengus. <laughs> Not specifically. Captain normally dealt with that end of the leg. Just, just remind me, if you can. Well, it, his name's... He says, are you two all right? You seem to be taking a long time answering questions. It's been a long journey. Yeah. And Alcohol is hitting a bit hard too. And um, Bill, Bill sort of like um, looks at the um, other guy and sort of like looks at him puzzled and the other guy turns around to you and he says, I'm getting a feeling that Bill doesn't like you. And then he says, so, you're taking it to Merchant Clarence, you know, 
fat yeah, guy, fat guy with armpit smell yeah and can i just say you made a right mess of it last time and please do not lose any in the sewers this time otherwise mr sniffer will not be happy at all okay we won't lose any in the sewers this time and he's sort of like you notice that bill is sort of like looking at you both and then looking back at his comrade and then looking back at you too and looking back at his comrade comrade and then the the guy who the guy on the right sort of like says now he says we need to get it straight about the the cargo next month yeah well it's far too dangerous to bring that into the city in the the usual way good grief if we actually got found shipping something like that in it would probably be the death of both you guys and us if you know what i mean <laughs> yeah we don't want that yeah so what will happen um is that we'll probably meet you down at the docks yeah that'll be a a safer um meeting place and he sort of like glances over at the um barman and says not that there's anything wrong with this tavern and the the barkeeper sort of like pushes his hand into the tavern into the um tankard and slowly just rotates his um cloth he says yeah so he says we don't want anything that dangerous being transported in the usual way so we've made special arrangements so yeah a normal time arriving but sniffer i'll meet you there well him or me and um, that's that's yeah um both of you make um perception rolls for me please Um, yes, um, Bartleby, you you notice that the um, the guy on the left is taking an extreme lot of interest in Hengis. He's he's not looking at you anymore. He's just looking at Hengis, and he seems to uh, he seems to be looking forward uh, under his under his hat as if to try to make out his features uh, a little bit more um, is there anything Bartleby you would like to do or say um, I, I Bartleby after thinking for a moment says uh, so we'll be meeting you uh, in a quieter tone it will be meeting you the docks in a month yeah and Bill sort of like um Sorry, not Bill, the other guy who you don't Bruce. know his name, Bruce. Oh. <laughs> actually um, turns his head away from Hengis and up to you and sort of like says, yeah, yeah. And please be careful with it. You know what happened last time something like that was let out? <laughs> uh, boy, do I. Uh, uh, don't worry. Uh, Silk Fingers Jacob's here and I'll... Uh handle the situation who would have thought something that small could be so dangerous we don't want the whole of the slums wiping out like last time well, yeah that, that would be quite dangerous um but, but believe us we got the crew everybody's got everything together there's been no leaks um very careful um unless that's how the captain got sick and he sort of like looks up to you and he says what's your name you're really good at this well they call me barney 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 strange sailor's name Very uh, my strange. mama gave it to me and she was no sailor yeah i bet she wasn't and he's just sort of like um has a, a slight um giggle um at, at your support he says yeah can't believe she was 
as much of a looker looking at you either. And he pretty sort of like laughs a bit and sort of like goes, <laughs> you know, as if he's cracking a joke at you. What would you like to do? Um, recover from the sting of a mom joke. Um, uh, and then nudge Jacob and say, uh, is, was there any other business that Captain told us to do before we leave? Not that I can remember. I think we've got everything. Um, and all of a sudden Bill says, he looks at you, um, Hengis, and says, do I know you? You look so familiar. Don't think so. He sort of like scratches um, his head. And tries to, he says, so familiar. I'm just trying to place you. I want to interrupt him and say, oh, the payment. Oh, wait. Did the captain say we we're supposed to do the payment now or get the payment when we meet with? Sniffer Bruce. Okay, uh, make me uh, an influence roll to try to pull him uh, away. Let me just roll. Can't do. Uh, I earned a spin a point of luck. Good, <laughs> I spin a point of luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what do you? So you you reverse it to get nineteen out of forty nine. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's well. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> he, he sort of like um, looks at you and you you don't manage to pull him away because his role's higher than yours by three points. Um, he's just sort of like, and he, he suddenly looks closer at Hengist and says, were you in the city guard? <laughs> no, not me. Damn city guard! I don't. I, don't like guard. I spit on the city guard. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to show the accent. I don't know the city guard. <laughs> he says, "Yeah, well, your deceit." Um, no, Hengus isn't 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 using a point of luck. And the the guy goes, "I'm sure you're in. We're in the city guard." Silence. A, a tumbleweed <laughs> goes across no. across the thing, and the guy sort of like. Um, pushes his stool slightly back away from um, the, the table. Is there anything Hengis or Bartleby would like to do? Yes. Uh, Bartleby is going to look very suspiciously at, at Jacob Hengis I, here. I go, were you in this? <laughs> oh my God, it's a city guard! <laughs> 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 You um, traitor! <laughs> and I'll whack him over the head. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, I oh, told you you were a stimmy once. <laughs> <laughs> giving him a suspicious look, Barley will, will lie and say, um, <laughs> I, all I knew about your previous work before your first mate was that you lost your job from drinking too much. Well, that's true. So you were in the city guard then? No. If you can't remember it because you were always drunk, <laughs> were you ever truly in the guard? <laughs> I, I need a roll to see whether that Hengis picks up. <laughs> I think probably willpower is the, the, the closest one I can get for this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Hengish, you, you, you suddenly um, figure out what Bartleby is sort of like hinting at. And you huge, suddenly, huge light bulb. Uh, yeah, you suddenly figure out that he's sort of like trying to give you a way out. 
and it, all of a sudden it suddenly dawns on you what Bartaby is going. You probably saw Bartaby go, or oh, gi- giving a, a wink or something like that. Yeah, Heng- Hengis. <laughs> Hengis will finish off his drink and then say, well, I never actually made it into the guard. So you weren't in the guards then? No. So what job were you in? That you couldn't remember what job you were in? That your your the first mate here talked to you about? Here's a way out. I'm not taking that. <laughs> <laughs> What's a game where you can jump left or right or go straight? Dragon Slayer. Yes. <laughs> Barnaby's just going to glare at Angus and say, <laughs> you know, of I'll all the members, number one. <laughs> all the members on our crew with all the suspicious and dubious backgrounds, you're still somehow the least suspicious to me. Old, old Krusty Fingers, I, I say that looking at the other two, he, I'm pretty sure he's eaten a man. Oratory will, will. Oh, it, you can either influence or oratory. I don't care. Or you, let, let's do influence and you can augment it with auditory. That that's a bit a nice like, way to do it. I like that one a lot. As you start let's to do. talk, tell stories of crusty Knuckle Joe or whatever you're calling him. He's oh, a good wow. worker, but that's my augment. No, that's just the augmentation roll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I panic. <laughs> and here's my augmented influence. Big money. Now you can do it. Now you can do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Bruce, Bruce sort of like um, looks, um, it's sort of like looks away from Hengis and looks up at uh, Bartleby and says, oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we have somebody very similar uh, in the guild with us you know some very well might call it disreputable um careers but i can only say that they actually you know benefit us now if you know what i mean and um he sort of like looks at you about to be and says don't stand there come and pull up a chair and he sort of like um, looks around and the, the tavern owner brings a stool up and sort of like pops it down Bartaby. And and as the tavern owner walks around, he says, another ball of this for us as well. We've got some celebrating to do. And um, Bill turns around to Hugh Hengus and says, I don't like guards. You see, they dirty my sword. Every time I run one through, they just cover it with their blood. And it takes me weeks to get the stain out of my clothes. And even longer to get the screaming out of my head. Ringing in my ears, it is, for days. At least they're good for something. And Bartaby, are you going to sit down on the the stool? Uh, Yes, I will. Yeah. And he sort of like um, pours everybody. Um, um, uh, he sort of like sees that yours is your little cup's got something in, and he sort of like picks it up. He says, "You don't want this crap," and goes like that, and just flows it over his shoulder, and brings out uh, a bottle and fills everybody's up. And you notice that it's not as dark as what it was, and he sort of like picks it up and he sort of like looks at you both and you you suddenly realize you think you're going to do a toast or a deal um sealer and he seems to be waiting uh for you to pick up your um your cups and then he says yeah to sniffer and all his businesses and then you're expected then to knock it back. Um, um, Hengis, uh, well, both of you, endurance roll. If you're going to knock it back, if you don't wish to, then. Yeah, Hengis will, Hengis will knock it back. I'm going to give a weary eye towards 
Hengus slash Jacob, the alcoholic, and then drink mine. Yeah, and it, this one actually tastes slightly better. And um, the um, Bruce sort of like brings out a, a scrap of paper. It looks like it's probably some kind of pig skin or something like that. And matter of fact, when you take it off him, Bartleby, you, you notice that the outside is still a bit bristly. And you notice that there seems to be some kind of line map on it. Um, it seems to be just be a line that goes around a series of uh, right angles and then finishes at a big cross. Um, you, it looks a bit like um, a treasure map. And um, he says that that will be where where Clarence will be. And don't get take any of his rubbish. You know that the deal is set, and if he doesn't want to pay it, tell him to get in touch with our boss. Will do. I'm, I'll take the pigskin. Uh, is he offering it to me? Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Um, glancing at Jacob again. Yes, yeah, it's, um, we won't take any of his stuff, and we'll, we'll make sure he pays. Yeah. He says, do you want to stay for more drink or do you have to get the cargo shipped? Captain's going to whip me if I don't show up. Uh, Silk fingers here. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, probably should make sure that the crew are doing what they're meant to be doing with the cargo. Do you know, I've heard about the captain and his whipping, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess it takes all sorts in the world, doesn't it? That it does. He says, another drink then. Uh, one for the road. Yeah, good man. And he looks at you and he says, he says, sorry, what's, what's your name? Pouring. To, to me? Yeah. Barney. Oh, yeah, Barney. <laughs> yeah. And he pours it round and he picks up. He says, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. And... He, Endurance rolls as you knock it back. Uh, by the beans getting sick. <laughs> yeah, so um, Hengis knocked it back. Bartleby, you sort of like drink this second one and you sort of like, it just hits that back of your throat and you forget to swallow and sort of like cough it. And Bruce just sort of like bursts out laughing at you and sort of like whacks you on the back a couple of times and says, ha <laughs> Barnaby, you're a good one, you are. Yeah. Uh, right on my guard, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another one. One for the road. We should. Uh, we, sh we should get going. We should get going now. I think it's. It's. Uh, I need to make sure that the rest of the crew are doing what they're doing. God, Barnaby. One more. Uh, no, I've got the, the most than I can take. <laughs> you floppy flounder you are. Good grief. I've seen more backbone <laughs> uh, in a crab. I really have. And you sort of like um, get up and they sort of like, you, you totter um, slightly, Bartleby, as you get up and sort of like make your way um, out of the... Um, out of the bar and um oh he's not coming with you he's staying um, oh new friend uh, new friend <laughs> um, you you leave you leave the bar and as as you just as you leave the bar um somebody walks past you and into the door and through the door can you just make a perception check for me please is that both of us or yeah, just both of you please yeah okay Funny. I've got my perception on point tonight. Yeah, and um Bartleby, um he he goes he goes into um he walks into the bar and the, the door um closes and you you hear something and you you just hear somebody shout What do you mean? We already told you where to take it And at that point